land. And Flick showed it he enamored of five parts, and there are wedding to calamity. Fry, what news? What are the princes doing? What sorrow quits the queen's at my hand that I yet know not? I bring me tidings of princes' doom. What, what, what worse than doom says the princes do? A lesser judgment banished from his lips. Not body's death, but body's banishment. Banishment? Be merciful. Seek death. Brexel hath much more terror in his love, much more than death. Do not say banishment. And through Brixham art thou banished. Be patient, for the world is broad and wide. There is no world without bricks and walls, but purgatory, torture, hell itself. It's banished is banished from the world, and the world's exile is death. Calling death banishment, thou cuttest my head off with the golden axe, and smile upon the stroke that murders me. A deadly sin, a rude unthankfulness. By fault our law calls death, for the kind prince taking thy part hath rushed aside that law, and turned that black word death to banishment. This is dear mercy, and thou seest not. This is torture, not mercy. Heaven is here where Juliet lives. Every dog, cat, little mouse, every unworthy thing may look upon her, but Romeo may not. He is banished. More honourable state, more courtier, more Valencian carrying flies than in Romeo. They may seize on the white wonder of my dear Juliet's hand, and steal a morsel blessing from her lips. Who, even in their pure and best of modesty, still blush and think of their own kisses seen? But Romeo may not. He is banished. They are, flies may do this, but I from this must fly. They are free men, but I am banished. Right, that's no sharp brown knife, no poison mix, no sudden mean of death other than banishment to kill me. Banishment! Oh, brother, how did the damned use that word in hell? The howling attends it. How hast thou the heart? Being a divine, a ghostly confessor, a sin absolver, and my friend professed to mangle me with that word, banish it! Thou fond madman, hear me but speak a word. Oh, thou wilt speak again of banishment! I'll give thee armour to keep off that word, adversity, sweet milk, philosophy, to comfort though, that thou, though thou art banished. Hang up philosophy! Let's philosophy and make it Juliet, displant a town, reverse a prince's doom, it helps not, it prevails not! Talk! No more! Then I see that madmen have no ears! How should they when the wise men have no eyes? Let me dispute with you of that, with you of, of thine estate. Thou canst not speak of that thou dost not feel. When thou was young as I, Juliet thy love, an owl but married, Tybalt murdered, doting like me, then mightest thou speak! Then mightest thou! Then mightest thou tear at thy hair! And fall upon the ground as I do now, taking the measure of an unmade grave. Who's there? Good Romeo. Arise. Not I. The mistress has grown of hearts. The mistress has hearts have grown of mist like you pulled me from the search of art. Knock. How they knock. Stand up. You stay a while. Stand up. Run to my study. By and by. God's will. What simpleness. I come, I come. Who knocks so hard? Let me come Whence in. come you? What's your will? Let me come in and you shall know my arrow. I come from Ed, can you fall the other way so that the audience can see your beautiful face? Welcome. <laughs> oh, holy fire. Tell me, holy fire, where is my lady's lord? Where is Romeo? There on the ground. With his own tears made drunk. <coughs> he is even in my mistress' case. Just in her case. Old wonderful sympathy. Pity's predicament. Even so lies she, blubbering and weeping. Weeping and blubbering. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up and you be a man for Juliet's sake. Rise and stand. Why should you fall in so deep an earth? Not. Oh, sir. Sir. Death's the end of all. So make us have Juliet. How is she? Does she not think we cannot murder her? Now that I have stained the childhood of our joke with blood removed but little from her own, where is she? And how doth she? What says my concealed lady to our counselled love? She says nothing, sir, but weeps and weeps. And now falls on her bed, and then starts up, and on Tybalt calls, and then on Romeo cries, and then down calls again. 
<laughs> that name shot from a deadly level of gutted murder hook. Is that same cursed handed murder hook, kinsman? Oh, well, tell me, for I tell me. In what vile part of this anatomy doth my name lodge? Tell me so that I may sack the hateful mansion! Hold thy desperate hand! <laughs> Art thou a man? Thy form cries out, thou art. Thy tears are womanish. Thy wild acts denote the unreasonable fury of the beast. By my holy order, I thought thy disposition better tempered. Hast thou slain Tybalt? Wilt thou slay thyself, and slay thy lady that in thy life lives by doing damned hate upon thyself? Why all railst thou on thy birth, the heaven and the earth, since heaven, birth, heaven and earth, all three do meet in thee at once, which thou at once would lose? Thy wit, that ornament to shape, and love, misshapen, in the conduct of them both. Like powder in a skill a soldier's flask is set afire by thine own ignorance, and thou dismembered with thine own defence, what rouse thee, man? Thy Juliet is alive, for whose dear sake thou wert but lately dead. There art thou happy. Tybalt would kill thee, but thou slewest Tybalt. There art thou happy. The law that threatened death becomes thy friend and turns it to exile. Therefore art thou happy. A pack of blessings lights up upon thy back. Happiness calls thee in her best array, but like a misbehave and sullen wedge that pants upon thy fortune and thy love. Take heed, take heed, for such die miserable. Go, hint thee to thy love, as was decreed. Ascend her chamber hence, and comfort her. But look, thou stay not before the watch be set, or thou canst not pass to Peyton, where thou shalt live till we can find a time to blaze your marriage, reconcile your friends, beg pardon of the prince, and call thee back with twenty hundred thousand times more joy than thou would force in lamentation. Go before the press, commend me to thy queen, and bid her hasten all the house to them. And with such heavy sorrow makes them act unto. Romeo is coming. Oh, I could have stayed all the night to hear good counsel. What learning is. My lord, I will tell my lady you will come. Do so. Bid my sweet prepare to chide. Here, sir. The ring she bid me give you, sir. Hi, you make haste, for it grows very late. How well my comfort is revived by this. Go hence. Good night. And here stands all your respect. Either be gone before the watch be said, or by the break of day disguised from hence. Sir John in paint then, I'll find out your man, and he shall signify from time to time every good at hap to you the chances here. Uh, give me your hand. It is late. Farewell. And good night. Since joy past joy calls out on me, to a brief, so brief to part with you. Farewell! Things have fallen out, sir, so unluckily. We've had no time to go without water. Look you, she loved the kinsman to her dearly, and so did I. Well, we were born together. It is very late, she'll not be down. 